Hello and welcome to Thought for the Day from St Peter's Bexhill. We're on to part 12 of our stories from the Bible, another story complete in itself, which might make you think. It's called Jonah the Groaner. Jonah was a groaner. That's right, a groaner. So when God told him to go to Nineveh and tell the people who live there to change their evil ways, what did Jonah do? Jonah groaned. Not Nineveh, he groaned, anywhere but Nineveh. The people who live there are our enemies. But when he stopped groaning, Jonah bought himself a ticket. A ticket for a boat ride. A boat ride that would take him far away from Nineveh. God listened to Jonah groan. God, God watched him buy his ticket. But God still wanted Jonah to go to Nineveh. So when the boat reached the deepest part of the sea, God sent a storm. God help us, cried a sailor. We're sinking. God save us, cried another. We're tipping over. God must be very angry, cried the captain, with someone here on board. And what did Jonah do? Jonah groaned. It's me, Jonah groaned. I'm the one God's angry with. He told me to go to Nineveh and here I am sailing in the opposite direction. Throw me into the sea and your troubles will be over. God forgive us, the sailors cried as they tossed Jonah into the water. And almost at once the sea grew calm. Oh dear, Jonah groaned, I'm sinking. Oh no, Jonah groaned, I'm going down. Oh my, Jonah groaned, that's the biggest fish I've ever seen. And before he could groan another groan, the fish opened its mouth and um, swallowed Jonah up. It was God who sent the fish to rescue Jonah and to give him time to think. He had plenty to groan about, of course. The fish's slimy stomach, the seaweed, the smell. But Jonah was still alive and that was something to cheer about. So Jonah stopped his groaning and said a prayer. I was sinking, Lord. I was drowning, but you saved me. So now I will do whatever you want. Three days later, the fish spat Jonah up onto a beach. And Jonah kept his promise. He went straight to Nineveh and told the people that God wanted them to change their evil ways. Forty days is all you've got, he warned them, and if you haven't changed by then, God will destroy your city. The people of Nineveh listened. The people of Nineveh wept. Then the people of Nineveh changed. From the king right down to the poorest slave, they decided to do what was right. And what did Jonah do? Jonah groaned. He sat himself down in the shadow of a tree and he groaned. I knew this would happen, Jonah groaned. You are a loving God who loves to forgive, but I still don't like the people of Nineveh and I wish they had been destroyed. Jonah fell asleep, groaning, and during the night God sent a worm to kill the tree. When Jonah awoke, he groaned more than ever. The tree is dead, he groaned, and now I have no shade. Oh, Jonah, God sighed, you cry about this tree, but you care nothing for the people of Nineveh. I want you to love them like I do. And finally, God added, I want you to stop your groaning. Amen.